Hello and welcome to Web Learning where knowledge is shared. And welcome again to What Did I Get? This time I got a few more packages that I want to show you and I'll try to tell you what they are and what I'm going to use them for. So let's get started. In this package there are different type of, of screws that I can screw in and they are flushed inside different housings. Uh, I can use them to flush them in or to hold uh, different shafts or any other thing that I'll need to do that. Next package. These are a different type of O-rings. I found a guy in AliExpress that has almost any type of O-ring that you can think of uh, in different sizes and I got a few of them. These are for motor shaft. Again, another project that I'm doing and I did it some O-ring shaft so the shaft will be water resistant. And the next package. Some uh, cheap earplugs. Um, these are very important when, when you're doing drilling or when you're using uh, any other loud noise. Uh, they come also with a string. It says that this is a 3M. I hope it is. But uh, it's disposable and uh, sometimes you can use them a few times. Uh, but not for too long and not in a dirty environment. And this is a big package. This is a caliper, an electronic caliper. It comes in a plastic case with a simple user manual. There is a battery here, but it, it's not looking so great. There is some corrosion on the battery right here. Let's see if the battery is uh, full. Mm, it's uh, on the yellow, so it's not even that great. I always keep uh, spare batteries of this type. Uh, this is again some Chinese. When you're getting batteries, it's very important to check what is the shell life. Uh, usually they are between 8 to 10 years. I already cut this, but um, this one was... Uh, I think I have a few years left in it. As you can see, a uh, brand new battery, no corrosion. And it's much better, it's on the green. So back to the electronic caliper, or digital caliper. It looks nice, big screen. Well, there is a battery already inside, I didn't even notice. But this is oh, very flimsy. So again, it doesn't cost that much and I thought I'll try that also. But as you can see here, it's not moving so straight, either something is wrong or it's not smooth, it like locks here, in this area. This area, it's, it's smoother and it's fine, but at the beginning, it's really, really terrible. I really need to use force in order to move it. Okay. The Next package, some more potentiometers, these are 4.7 kilo ohm, so they're flat and there is no, there is no surface to hold the knob, so that could slip sometimes, but I'll give it a try and see how it works. There's some glue here, um, yeah, there's some glue here. But overall it looks fine. Another small package. These are 4S. These are 4S battery protection. Yeah. Those are MOSFETs and I don't know what this is. Uh, it's rubbed off. There is the resistors. There is a battery plus battery minus, positive plus, positive minus, and those are the battery connections. And that's also for the 4S PCB that I have. If you haven't seen this, go back and uh, watch the movie that I'll show here. The, this will, can connect to the output, and then I can control the overall voltage of the batteries. Another small package. 
These are very, very tiny M3, six pieces. Those are the same as before. It's very hard to see it. It has at the front a small ball bearing, just like a ballpoint pen. And this, if for example you have a knob that you want to twist and then you want to have it clicked in a certain position, this is what you use. So I'll take this for example, you do a few dents in the shaft and then you put it inside a cavity and you use this and then when it rotates this will jump there is a spring inside to this ball bearing and this will click every time you twist it there are different ways to do this uh, you usually see it in, in a car radio or other things that you feel the click every time you, you turn the knob and uh, this is also one way this is M3 they come in different sizes M4, M5 I got M3 as I owe oh, most of the time I use M3 bolts. These are CR2032. I have this uh, voltage regulator uh, that outputs very accurate uh, voltage 10 volts, 7.5, 5 volts, and 2.5, and it needs a very special battery. I searched uh, to see what I can find and I saw some guy that built uh, a battery out of four or five of those batteries. So I'm thinking of maybe uh, 3D printing a case and put them, putting them all together and putting it here. I'll make a video about that. And the next package. I got this uh, type of uh, 18650 battery holder. Again, this is for the battery type connector that I have. It almost fits in place, but it's not. I'm thinking of uh, remaking this PCB that will fit uh, those type of connectors, this type of board, and another type of board that uh, one of my viewers sent to me that has a very a small plastic holder. So I got already the battery holders and uh, I'll do a new PCB and I'll update you guys. Another small package. Again, th these are spacers for the battery holder. The problem with the spacers I have now, they are 20 millimeters high. And if you put them together, they are really, really close uh, if there are any batteries. Let me put a battery so you can see. See, the batteries are very, very close. So I got this type of spacers. Those are 22 millimeters. And yeah, even though it's only two millimeters difference, that, uh, that will do the difference uh, for the batteries. And the next package. I'm sure one of my viewers already says I got it or I have it, but I still don't know what it is. This is a little bit heavy. This is a wow stick um, for screwing or unscrewing different. So even for the AAA, I'm still using the IKEA one. They have the best performance from one of the websites I've seen that tested all of them. Let's see how this works. Ah. It doesn't have any torque using the the rechargeable batteries. Let me put some double A ones. So here is a GP triple A. Let's see if this has a bit more torque. Nah, also not much, but probably to 
open little things and closing them. Oh, this comes out nice. It has all the different type of... There are two compartments here. One for the bits and one for the screwdriver. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but probably not much. It does lock. It has some play and it does lock. If I want to open... If I want to open things, I have this... Uh, Charger. No, I still need to help it. Okay, that opened up, but with the help of, with some force from my hand, let's screw this. Ah, oh, not that great. Uh, I'll use it and uh, if I don't like it I'll try to increase the torque um, somehow either by current or voltage we'll see so that's it for today thank you very much for tuning um, don't forget to subscribe and to click the notification bells when I'm uploading new videos thank you